All right, I'm going to be showing how to go through SQL Island. SQL Island is this great little game for uh, practicing SQL. Um, but it's, that's why I'm wearing my island shirt. Um, so first things first, I'll include this link in the comments. But uh, right now, we are in German. And uh, I don't speak German. So you need, you, I'm going to switch it to English. So I believe it is, click the little hamburger here and then click Sprock like sign. And then um, depending on which language you're most comfortable with, I am most comfortable with English. So we are going to do this in English. <clears throat> so they can they kind of try to they kind of turn this into like a little bit of a story so i think it makes like doing sql um, a little more fun um, and we'll see how see how well i do so this is you after you survived a plane crash you will be stuck on sql island for the time being by making progress in the game you will find a way to escape from these from this island so we write our sql queries here You don't know anything about SQL commands, you will find out all about them. So low barrier of entry. Down here, you'll find all the tables we have available. So we have a village table with these columns, an inhabitant table with these columns, and an item table with these columns. Let's go. And so select star from village. We see there's three villages. Um, there's a village ID. There's the name of the village, Monkey City, Cucumber Town, and Onionville. Uh, I think I'd want to go to Monkey City. And then they have different chiefs. So I want to see all the inhabitants. Um, so I think it was just going to be a select star from inhabitant. Bam. So here's all the different inhabitants. There's a lot of different people. So now we're going to grab the inhabitant table for where their job equals butcher. And not everyone on the island is friendly. We see there is this state of evil and friendly. So let's see who's friendly on this. So it looks like I want to just have the same query, but have a where clause in it. So where um, state equals friendly. So bam. There is no way around getting a sword for myself. I will now try to find a friendly weaponsmith to forge one. Um, so I want to grab all the columns from the inhabitant table where state equals friendly and job equals um I guess they want weaponsmith. Weaponsmith. Bam. So Ernest Perry is a weaponsmith and they are friendly. So instead of now, instead of just looking for weaponsmiths, um, and they kind of give us the code here. Um, but percent Smith and job alike. So this is a wild card operator where it's going to look for Smith in the job title. So now they're adding us to Monkey City. 
<clears throat> What's my person ID? Um, What's my person ID? From inhabitant. Um, let's do like where name equals stranger. It looks like that's the name they gave me. Oops, stranger. Let's just see if this, how many strange people named stranger there are. Um, and I just want to grab person ID, person ID. So bam. <clears throat> now we're asking Ernest, how much is a sword? Hmm. <clears throat> I think I have zero gold. No money, no fun. Can I make a list of all items that don't belong to anyone? So now I want to grab from this item table. Select star from item where Owner is null. So here's all the items that have no owner. So now we have a coffee cup. How to collect all the um <clears throat> ownerless items. So I'm going to steal this code. So where instead of filtering on this item, I want to set it where owner is null. I like to write my queries like this, kind of where one line one kind of statement is on each line. I think it's a little bit easier to read. So that seems to have worked. Now list all the items that I have. Um, select star from item where owner equals 20. Nice, here's all the items that I have. Finally, a friendly inhabitant who is either a dealer or a merchant. Um, so this would be select star from inhabitant where um, I think state equals, let's just do it. I don't remember everything. So I'm just going to do like a, this is just the first five rows so I can take a look at the different um, <clears throat> columns. So I want where state equals friendly. And, and since I'm going to be wrapping an or in here, I think I need to use parentheses and job equals dealer or job equals merchant. Um, Um, I think I'm a little bit behind on my queries now. So now they're wanting me to um, 
give these people the ring and the teapot to this person. Um, so I don't remember what what items those are. So I'm gonna do a select star from item where owner equals 20. So Um, I don't remember the set. Yeah, it's this thing. So I want to make this 15. Ring. And then I also want to do the same for teapot. So I updated the ring and the teapot to be owner to give to this person. Um, <clears throat> so now it looks like I have 120 gold. So I'm, I'm gonna do another update. Um, update, um, the inhabitant table, set name equals Jeff, where, um, person ID equals 20. Cool. Since baking is one of my hobbies, why not find a baker who I can work for? So we want to grab all the bakers. So select star from an habitant where um, job equals Baker, um, order by gold. I don't need quotes for that. Descending. So Paul Baker, Baker man has the most amount of gold. So one gold for a hundred bread rolls. Now, um, <clears throat> so we added a hundred gold and then we subtracted a hundred and fifty gold. And that's for the sword. Now I have a sword. So now I want to grab, do a search in the inhabitant table if there's a pilot. So there is a pilot. Um, unfortunately, it looks like he is currently kidnapped. Um, <clears throat> And he's being held by old Dirty Dieter. So this is kind of a nasty query. Select village name from village inhabitant where village village ID and inhabitant village ID and inhabitant name equals Dirty Dieter. So Dirty Dieter is an onion bill. This is called a join. It combines the information of the inhabitant table with the information from the village table by matching the village ID. So 
So I can use the join to find out the chief's name of the village and the column chief in the village ID, the person ID of the chief is stored. Hint in the column chief in the um, I'm gonna have to do this in probably a couple of steps because I'm a little bit confused from village. So I want person number 13, essentially. So I want, I guess, select star from and Habitant village where I can steal this code right here. Or I'll type it out. It's good practice to type it out. Village village ID equals inhabitant dot village ID and um Inhabitant dot ID equals oh boy, I don't know how to do this. Um I know I could just do this, but um, I don't think that's what I want to do. Let me just see if it'll work. Inhabitant. Oh, I want village ID. So this is, uh, this isn't right though. The columns are wrong. Um, village. Um, hmm, I don't know how to do this. Um, I think I honestly can do this. We're inhabitant and village ID. Uh, columns are wrong. Um, <clears throat> oh, I want person ID, not village ID. So that's correct, but I'm not doing a join statement at all. Um, hmm. I want to spend a little bit of time trying that out. Um, no, it's not going to let me go and keep going. Um, so there, this is one way to do it. There's multiple ways to, to do things. Um, so now we're going to grab the number of inhabitants from Onionville.
So there's eight people in Onionville. So <clears throat> we're going to steal the query they gave us. Um, And gender equals female. Oh, need an equal sign. <laughs> so there's one female in Onionville. So this would be inhabitant.name. We want to grab the, the name of the from the inhabitant table where the gender is female. <laughs> Dirty that I hand. If you hand me over the entire property of our nearby village, Cucumber Town. <clears throat> How much gold is that? So I want all the gold where their name is, where their job title is baker, dealer, or merchant. So I want some inhabitant dot gold. Let's not do the sum to start. I just want to make sure I'm doing this right. From inhabitant where I'm going to wrap it in parentheses because I'm going to have a bunch of or statements. Job equals baker. Let's just see if that works. Or let's put it in the line. Or job equals dealer. Or I like to do these kind of one line at a time, just so I can kind of see what's going on. Merchant. And then we could also do inhabit.job, just as a sanity check. Baker, baker, merchant, baker, dealer, dealer, dealer. So that looks like it is correct. So now we're gonna do the sum. So cool. I'm doing a group by now. So <clears throat> looks like the butcher has a lot of gold. So now we want to do this group by again, but um, instead of grouping by their job, we're going to group by their whether they're friendly state or not. So select um, state some gold. Um, I guess we want to do average gold too. So I'm in the average from inhabitant and group by state order by average gold. Um, I guess maybe I don't want the sum of the gold. So 
<clears throat> the um, evil people have about twice as much gold on average than friendly people. So it looks like we decided instead of giving 30 beater the gold, we decided to murder him. Uh, <laughs> um, it seems by murdering Dirty Dieter, we have now murder. We have now angered. Um, I forgot her name. I was trying to look look through it. Um, I don't know. I thought it was Dirty Diane. Um, so now I guess we're gonna have to. Um, unfortunately, murdered Dirty Diane. Or uh, delete from inhabitant where a name equals Dirty Diane. So now um, we want to update the pilot status. Um, from inhabitant where state equals kidnapped. I just want to take a look at this. Um, so I don't remember the update command in SQL because I don't do it a whole lot. Um, so I'm going to have to kind of scroll up here to find it, like set update or something. Yeah, this, uh, this is the command. <clears throat> so update inhabitant. We want to update the add inhabitant table set. Um, Oh uh, boy, I don't really know what I'm doing again. I don't remember what I don't remember what state we want to update this to. So select, or I guess it would be friendly. Set inhabitant, update inhabitant set. State equals friendly. We're gonna make the uh, pilot a friendly individual. Where person ID equals eight. So cool. And so that is SQL Island. Um, hopefully that was useful. And feel free to reach out if you have questions. Thank you.